Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Mirror Mirror. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about relationships because they are the key to life. So for this series, for this episode, this was a topic requested on my Instagram. And he asked me to talk about how to deal with death and loss and grief. And I'm going to be honest, like, I have never lost anyone that was extremely close to me. Like, I've lost people in my life, like family members and things. But I didn't really know them to have a close bond with them. So even though it was sad, it wasn't like, it wasn't, do you know what I mean? Like it wasn't a close person that I knew. So I'm just going to share my perspective from like an outsider looking in rather than somebody that's actually been through it. And normally I speak on it from experience, but this time as it was requested, I'm going to speak on it. But this is more from like a if I was a supporting friend that cared about somebody that was going through this type of situation of loss and grief. So if you watch my spiritual videos and stuff, like you know that I see the bigger picture of reincarnation and I think about like how we're all interconnected and you never really die. It's just energy transforming and things. But I also understand that when you're in that kind of situation, like it's real, like even though you know that they're going on to somewhere that's way nicer than earth, but at the end of the day, like, you're not able to keep them close anymore, like, you can't physically speak to them in vessels or anything, that sounds really fucking weird. Death and loss is a huge change for both people, really, because they're obviously transforming into a different form, like, they're leaving the physical plane, so it's obviously a change for them as well, but for the people that are left behind, like, it's a huge change in your whole life, like, upheaval, I was gonna say, I don't know if that's the right word, but, like, it's a huge change in your life to where the whole dynamic of your life will change, especially if it's somebody that was close to you, and they're now passed away, and they're gone, like, that's a huge change, you know, like, a huge disruption in your life, where, so many things about your life will change in the sense that they're not a part of it physically anymore so I just think like the main thing is to have compassion for yourself the main thing is to take care of yourself to really nurture yourself and let yourself feel all the feels like let yourself grieve you know it's a hard hard situation it's like I couldn't even imagine if I was to imagine that type of thing happening to me like oh my god I hate this filming in public it's so awkward <laughs> oh, let them just leave it's kind of the same with any emotion the only way to release it is to feel it is to go into it so especially with something as permanent and as I want to say permanent but I just mean permanent in this lifetime where they're no longer here like especially in something like that you have to just let yourself grieve, let yourself be sad, let yourself cry, let yourself take a day off work or a week off work, let yourself eat what you want and just, I don't know, I just think we tend to beat ourselves up for feeling, to be honest, and in something like that, like, oh my god, you need to feel, like, you need to let yourself feel, to be honest, I feel like that's going to be the whole phrase for this video, just let yourself feel, let yourself grieve, let yourself be sad, and when you reach a point where you've been feeling all the feels for a while, then you can start to let yourself look at the bigger picture, remind yourself that they're not really gone, that they're just not in a physical vessel anymore, and that this life is temporary anyway, like it's always been temporary, but that they can go wherever they want, you know, they could go back to source, they could reincarnate into this plane and this life, or they could incarnate into a completely different planet, different universe, like they're so powerful and they're actually at peace, you know, like they're actually okay, they're actually happy, it's you that's not, because you're still in earth in a human vessel that feels negative emotions so let yourself feel all the feels but 
remember the bigger picture. When you reach that point when you're ready, when you're ready and only when you're ready, let yourself remind let yourself remember and remind yourself of the bigger picture and the fact that they're at peace they're happy they're okay and it's okay to grieve the separation and grieve the fact that they're no longer here to physically be here with you but that they're always there because you're so so connected beyond anything we could even imagine really like you're so connected and it's okay to go through the process and the motions of it all and eventually you'll reach a point where you can take the next step in your own life because obviously you have to make a lot of adjustments to the fact that they're no longer here and things like that especially if it was an unexpected situation like there may be a lot of change and change is difficult at the best of times without the change being somebody is gone and transitioned so I just think the the main key is in educating ourselves um in general like without even these situations but just educating ourselves educating our children on what death actually means and what the universe is and like the fact that death merely is just transitioning and that they're not really gone so like I really feel like if we all to, were to learn that in school, we would not perceive it in such a negative way because it's not actually a negative bad thing. It's just that their time is done. Like they've achieved whatever it was that they incarnated for and what they chose to incarnate for and the soul agreements that they had that they chose to have with you for you to be connected to them. Like they've achieved whatever it was that they needed to and it was time for them to leave and even though that's sad and that's difficult and it's a huge change it doesn't have to be a negative thing it doesn't have to be a bad thing but it can obviously be a sad thing you know like bad and sad does not have to be the same thing it can be a good thing and a happy healthy thing and still feel sad at the same time so yeah I just think it's let yourself feel it let yourself go through the like through the motions of it and then remind yourself of the bigger picture and then also remind yourself of the bigger picture of your own life and what you're here for because your time isn't up because you're still here watching this video so reminding yourself of what your soul mission is why you're still here what you're carrying on here for what you're here to do and focus on doing that and know that you can connect to them at any time you know you can go into your mind and you can see them, you can speak to them, you can connect with them at any time because they're a part of you, they're a part of your DNA if you're related and even beyond that we're all connected because we're all a part of source so they're a part of you no matter what and you can connect to them at any time but I do think it's important to set them free because oftentimes when we're feeling really negative and we're feeling sad we keep them trapped here because our emotions can make them not want to leave us it can make them not want to move on to wherever they're supposed to go like they'll stay in the spirit realm and they'll stay there and they won't progress or transition to where they're supposed to so I do think it's important to work through our emotions and even though it's okay for us to feel sad it's okay for us to, to grieve and feel sad about it but not in a way that we keep them stuck, not in a way that we don't let them go, where we're like so distraught that we're wishing they were here. Like that's the bad part is wishing that they were here and wanting to do anything we can to make that happen. Like that's when you keep them trapped. So I just think it's important to set them free, but still grieve, set them free, but still feel all the feels, set them free with love and yeah just see the bigger picture I don't know like uh, like I said I've not experienced it so I just hope that this message meets you in the way that it needs which I'm sure it will but I just hope that it resonates and like it actually helps you because it's just hard like I said for me to speak on something that I've not experienced but I can also empathize and try and put myself in other people's shoes and I don't know I think it's a process like you're never gonna go through grief and just be done you know like it can be a stop and start it can be a 
years later you have a moment where you feel sad again like that's perfectly normal because it's a process and especially when you're really close to someone and you're used to having them in your life like that's a difficult change you know and it's something that you had no control over but just reminding yourself of the bigger picture as you move through this process will really really help and I feel like it helps in every aspect of our lives not just grief but yeah I hope this was really helpful in some way I hope this resonates with you and if you have any um anything that you want to discuss like if you want somebody to talk to I am here anytime you can dm me on instagram or twitter you can text or whatsapp me all of that will be in the description box below and if you have anything else that you want me to talk about definitely leave a comment below or you can dm me or you can text me or whatsapp me thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye Oh, yeah, think he like me Yeah, I'm icy, coolin' in the white tee Oh, yeah, think he like me Yeah, I'm icy, coolin' in the white tee Oh, yeah, think he might I'm the thing he like me, my range all white Oh, yeah, think he might I'm the thing he like me, my range all white